In this lesson, I'll show you how to use the second derivative test to find the maximum and minimum values. The second derivative may be used to determine local maximum and minimum values of a function under certain conditions. And here they are. If the function has a critical point for its derivative, and the second derivative is positive when we input that critical point into the second derivative, then there's a local minimum at that point. Similarly, if the function has a critical point for which f prime at x is equal to zero, its derivative, and the second derivative is negative, then there's a local maximum. I do have a video on how to find the maximum and minimum values of a function without the use of the second derivative test, but it's a little more involved. This one is more clear cut. The question reads, find the maximum and minimum points for the function y is equal to x cubed minus 3x by the second derivative test. Now in that video I just mentioned, we used the exact same function. And we came with the conclusion that there was a local maximum, a max at x is equal to negative 1, and a minimum at x is equal to positive 1. So if we do this correctly, we should come up with the same conclusion. So let's go ahead and find the first derivative. And we'll denote that as y prime is equal to 3x squared, power rule for both of these terms. We'll take the second derivative, but first let's find the critical values by setting y prime is equal to 0. 0 is equal to 3x squared minus 3, solving for x. Here we bring this term over, divide both sides by 3. We end up with 1 is equal to x squared, and therefore x is equal to plus minus 1. Now we'll take plus minus 1 and input them in the second derivative, which we'll denote as y double prime. Taking the derivative of this term now, we end up with 6x, and the derivative of negative 3 is 0. So we'll substitute negative 1 and positive 1 into this function. Let's see what we get. We get negative 6 and positive 6. Let's go ahead and read these again. If the second derivative is positive at the point, right here, then we have a local minimum here. Look at this. We found that there was a local minimum in that other video at 1. And the same is true here. So there's a local minimum, local min, at the point 1. And we'll find out why in a second. And similarly, there's a local maximum at negative 1 because the second derivative is negative at this point then there is a maximum. So to find out the y coordinates as outlined in that previous video in case you didn't watch it we'll substitute these values into here 1 to the power of 3 is 1 minus 3 times 1 is 3 so that's negative 2 and similarly if we put negative 1 into here we get negative 1 plus 3, and that gives us positive 2. So these represent the two points, which are our minimum and maximum. And there you have it. That is how to use the second derivative test to find maximum and minimum values.